as a bonus today i'm gonna do here the top of the neck for you guys to see um she has a very as you can see here very uh harsh straight hair very easy to pull at this stage so let's do it so you guys can see it this is a bonus because this is a head day but I, we're gonna do so you see here on the side look at this so just grab the tip the top and pull look it's easy remember the direction okay i'm gonna come here so you guys can see look uh, the hair is growing this way you see it does this and come here but i'm not gonna pull this way i pull this way not straight back on an angle okay as i'm pulling i'm gonna say something um number one there's not only one way of doing okay that by now everybody heard me saying this there's uh there are few ways, different ways of doing same thing and get good results. So uh, you have to see somebody that does the dog the way you guys like and follow that person and ask that person to teach you and, uh, and learn from them if you like the way they do it, if you like the end result, you know? And uh, of course you're going to while you're seeing you're gonna see and understand how how the dog is being treated while they're doing you know you're not i know a lot of people that learn and i'm not saying names or anything but i learn i know people that learn from their parents or their uncle or their grandfather that they were not exactly very nice to the dogs, but that's the way they learn and that's the way they became because they thought this is the right thing. They learn just from that person and that's all they know. So uh, if you, you have, number one, you have to use common sense, common sense, you know? And number two, don't think because the person does it well, whatever they do, it's right, okay? And, uh, you, that dog should be treated with respect. You should be uh, you should be calm, and the dog should look somewhat calm on the table. There will be times where um, dog will be a little stressed, or uh, mainly if they don't know the groomer, if they being for the first time, or if they are not grooming that often, or um, if they're puppies, you know they don't know you very well, so. Uh, they are gonna be nervous for a while, they're gonna be stressed a little bit. So it's your job as a groomer, as a breeder, or to make the dog feel uh, comfortable and get used to this. It makes your life easier as well, okay? So let's continue to pull here. So as, as the hair is a little bit longer, I'm lifting and pull. My way of pulling is just lifting a little bit here. And pull. I use don't don't do much of the lifting pull, but I also do depend on how uh, the hair is. Okay. And she has some coat collar here. Probably is from the first and second pull. That uh, usually a little bit of hard pull, and they get a kind of a strip of coat collar here. Uh, this a lot of times it goes away. You know, like eight out of ten times goes away and if it doesn't go it's because they had some cold collar you know like i mean uh, um, it is a fault but uh but sometimes people uh, get uh, too stuck on faults on a certain fault that they they don't see the qualities of that dog and every dog has a fault it's our job to breed the faults out you know, and uh, and get uh, the quality that we we want from that dog. And the other thing is, 
some people have access or can afford um, some people have access or can afford breeding with the best dogs that they can find, great pedigrees, great uh, um, breeders. Others don't have that access, don't have that, uh, they have to breed, fault out, uh, breeding by breeding and takes a long time and, uh, uh, and uh, that's the way they can do it so uh you have to weigh breeding is not easy you have to weigh you know the pros and cons and also always look at the progeny of the male you're gonna use okay not only the male but most important even uh, of course the pedigree knowing what that pedigree says like what dogs are behind those dogs uh is that line a line that i like uh and uh, and see the progenies of from that uh stud male i think people should always let the breeder use the 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 male first and some breeders try to get some people use the male first so they can see what he can produce or not but um if i'm gonna pay for a stud fee from a, a good uh, a dog that I see and they have never been used, I would wait. I would wait, see, see what he throws and see. It's not that he throws bad things or maybe he's not throwing what I'm expecting him to throw, but he's throwing something good for other people that they need in their life, you know? So uh, then you can uh, judge and see if they're right for you. I'm going off topic a little bit here, but, uh, but something, uh, that I like to share because there's a lot of people that are new here, you know, and I think uh, encourage, encouraging uh, young breeders and uh, people that start start to breed west is to do it right, to do uh, consciously and uh, get into the breed because we need uh, we need new good breeders, you know. Um, there's plenty of good breeders around the world, but. Um, but we need uh, good uh, new blood, let's say, into the breed. So, uh, and when I say new blood, new people. Uh, so if I can help it somehow with my grooming or some advice with my experience, I will, okay? So now people people have a lot of problem um, here when it gets from the neck into the weeders, okay? How do I get here? Oh, this is a problem. How do I get when I pull the neck? If I put you tight here, it's going to do this, okay? You don't want to that, okay? So, so number one, unless this is a problem. Let me get to say that. If I was going to pull her now and I'm going to do it, I'm going to pull her tight all over because I need a good hair to grow and grow correctly. But if you're pulling an, an adult dog, okay, uh, you pull a little bit shorter here. And as you start to pull this, this area here, you start to pull only the long legs, the hair, the long hairs, and brush and see how it falls, okay? So, good to have a mirror. Uh, and you can see where there's hair. That's the other side. So, what you do, turn the dog around. Hey, stay, 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 stay. Turn the dog around. See what is long hair. Look, this long hair here. I learned a lot of times people get so stuck in the middle of the the back that they don't look the little sides here and that's often what makes this thing here like give a little weird uh, weird uh, line here so you have to hey, for the neck to show stay for the neck to show no 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 stay 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 
you have to pull like right when the neck gets in here. Let me see if you're, you guys are seeing. Stay. No, stay. Good. Go. Oh, you're off. Stay. Like, see here? When the neck comes down here, there's this uh, part where the weeters are, okay? So here, you cannot have black hair sticking here. It will make the top line look like, make this bump here, okay? So you start to take a little bit more on the sides here and balance. I'm not pulling too tight. And balance what we have in the front, okay? And then you look both sides. You see, because there's a little bit of hair here. Okay, there's, you can see the long hair and you pull guys can see here you gotta see which side is making the hair look uh, not so right so you touch here uh, so sometimes you get to the nitty-gritty okay where it's just little bit of hair okay that you have to take and then in here I'll take a little bit more here on the side okay uh, I found out and look I'm not saying everybody does that but I found out that a lot of people in Europe uh, and some people in North America as well but a lot of people in North in Europe they shave they shave the front here shave the front so i don't think it's a good idea you know they're gonna uh, it also although it looks nice and straight but it's still gonna start to grow soft hair there and when the soft hair meets with the harsh hair here there will always be a line you know there's like always be something showing that chain so i I what I do I pull the hair in the front of the dog okay so and I use the thinning shears at the end where you see a line here where the side of the neck meets the front of the neck there's a line where the hair meet then when I get to, to groom this part and this side here I get to pull enough and I have to be careful not to pull to make a hole or anything so then when I get this little thing here, I pull outwards, okay? And when I finish pull outwards and there's still a, li a, little, a little line here, then I get the thinning shears, okay? It takes longer, but it looks better, okay? Stay, stay, stay. Okay, the west you should have like a nice lay back, okay? Nice angle of lay back, shoulders, a good size of upper arm, 
you know, they say, people say, oh, the same size of upper arm and, uh, of the upper arm to the to the shoulder blade, and that's rare, very rare, if possible, in a Westie, okay? But they should be approximately the same size, okay? With the upper arm being a little bit smaller, okay? Uh, you see that on the reach, uh, how the dog extends uh, on the reach when they move, you know? Or if they don't back pedal like this, because there's too short of upper arm for them to stretch, but, but that said, this part of the West should be flat, okay? It should look flat. It shouldn't bulge, it shouldn't bulge like this, you know? Some dogs have bulging shoulders or sometimes people leave too much hair here and looks bulging. And it should look, you come a line here that looks flat. And when you look from the front, when you look from the front, it should be one line here, not doing this, and this like it shouldn't do this here and here that's wrong okay or that doesn't look nice for sure because the west shouldn't have like a like a bulldog shoulders or or um shoulders that are too heavy okay So remember, the, the middle here, I pull it straight down. It looks like it's been cut once, this puppy been cut once. So I'm trying to start uh, pulling so grow some harsh hair here. Sometimes in this part, it's gonna show a little bit of the skin. So you see this hair here. So I need to fix because it's coming out a little bit here. I don't know if you can see that's uh, see here. So uh, this is where the stone comes handy. If I'm gonna just fix a little bit of the hair that's coming out, get the stone. Hey, stay, stay, no, stop, stay, stay. The stone usually flattens, you know, like there's something sticking out, the stone will flatten uh, that part, okay? So stay, stay. stay. Okay, so I, we got very close here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the thinning shears. And this hair here, this thing is sure is not great, but uh, this hair that's coming out here, I'll flatten them up. Can you see? Stay, stay, stay. See here. And then you start to, uh, the more hair you take, the more peaky you start to get, okay? Because then you're gonna take just a few hairs, you know? It is, uh, 
It is the nitty gritty part, okay? But this gives you a good idea. Hey, stop. see here let me see here yeah you probably can see all right just here here here, here. gotta take just very slight my hand is almost barely touching the the hair here to fix there's a little line here say Okay, so I'm gonna finish uh, grooming her here, but this gave you guys a good idea how to do the head of a puppy like this, where to pull, and also uh, the neck here coming down the winters, okay? So uh, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.